Next week, the best female golfers in the world will descend on Westchester Country Club near New York to play the KPMG Women's PGA Championship, formerly the LPGA Championship. It's a tournament that has delivered great champions, and last year it was Imbi Park who took home the trophy. The rebrand has been welcomed by all in the game, including Susie Whaley, the newly instated secretary of the PGA. It's so exciting. It's, I can't wait. I'm a former LPGA Tour player, now as a leader in our association, but a member as well. Couldn't be more proud of the PGA of America partnering with the LPGA and partnering with KPMG to bring the KPG, KPMG PGA Women's Championship to Westchester. Uh, it's close to my home, so I'm super excited about that and really looking forward to just show, showcasing the, the talents on the LPGA Tour in women's golf in general, but also incorporating that talent amongst women executives, uh, bringing in a leadership panel, uh, bringing in invited guests who can participate in those panels, not only to perhaps get them involved in the game, because certainly we want them at golf courses playing the game, but also sharing some insights of how those women became great, much like we did in our forum panel of Inspiring Greatness, and how they can transfer that into their own lives and their own businesses. Also praising the move is the LPGA's commissioner, Mike Wan, who believes that the challenging course will benefit golfers as well as business relationships, increasing exposure for the players and maximizing fan experience. Yeah, Westchester Country Club, from the first time I heard that was on our hit list, uh, I chimed in and said, listen, I've, I've never heard a negative thing about it. From the way the golf course sets up to create a champion, to where the uh, on-site on resort builds out, to obviously it's close proximity to New York City. Everything about that makes the event big right from the first, first year. And what we're seeing in terms of corporate support, what we're seeing in terms of uh, top female executive support, uh, and quite frankly, player excitement about playing a course they've seen on TV. Their male counterparts have talked about the quality of the golf course. You know, we're going to be playing the championship golf course just like we used to see from the PGA Tour. And I think, uh, I think everything about this championship is going to feel big. I've seen this whole thing come together and I've seen what's going on behind the scenes and um, just to be playing at a golf, the type of golf courses we should be playing on, you know, maybe where historically we, we haven't played, um, but where the men always have, you know, so kind of breaking the barrier there, um, you know, the purse is going up, it's on uh, network TV here in the U.S. on the weekends, you know, it, there's a lot of things about it that we've never done before and it's just going to raise the bar for all our tournaments. The PGA's mission is centered on the growth of the game and the PGA's Chief Championship Officer Kerry Haig believes Westchester is the perfect location to do this. The reasoning for going to Westchester is it's is a great old traditional golf course and uh, our aim jointly with the LPGA is to try and play some of the, you know, the great well-known golf courses in the country. And, uh, what better place to start than uh, New York City, just outside of the city and uh, on a great old golf course.